Tornadoes of the Luftwaffe, the German Air Force, are currently authorized to carry these weapons, and trials have already been carried out to enable the integration of the new B-61-12 type into those aircraft. The United States Air Force has previously stated that the F-35A would also begin carrying these bombs before the end of the year. The nuclear stockpile currently contains four B-61 variants, 3, 4, 7, and 11. The B-61 Mod 12 or B-61-12 is the most updated version of the B-61, and it will replace all four previous variants. In December 2021, the National Nuclear Security Administration NNSA, announced that the first production unit of the B-61-12 had been completed. Full-scale manufacturing is expected to begin in May 2022 and production will be completed sometime in fiscal 2026, according to the NNSA. The project is expected to cost $8.4 billion in total. The announcement assumes significance as it comes amid the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. The F-35 gives us a unique potential to cooperate with our NATO allies and other partners in Europe," German Defense Minister Christine Lambert said. According to an official statement, Berlin plans to replace its tornado fleet by 2030. Germany's current tornado fighter jets have been in service since the 1980s. They were developed in collaboration with Italy and the United Kingdom. The decision on the Tornado successor has been made, with the F-35 aircraft type, the task of nuclear sharing, will be guaranteed in the future. The goal is to replace the Tornado by 2030, Lambert added. In 1961, the United States began developing these bombs. It came up as a result of a requirement for a new, more aerodynamic nuclear weapon that could be used on then-new high-performance jet aircraft. The first prototypes, dubbed TX-61s at the time, were developed in 1963. Due to challenges during the engineering design process, the first B-61 Zeros did not reach full-scale production for another five years. Nuclear engineers in the United States steadily enhanced the weapon's capability, dependability, and safety for the next decade. It came in two models, strategic and tactical. Strategic versions were designed for bigger city-sized targets, while tactical variants were meant for smaller sites and even battlefield usage against enemy force concentrations. The strategic output of the first B-610 and minus one warheads ranged from 10 to 300 kilotons. According to reports, the B-61-1 varied from the original in that it lacked any kind of permissive action link or PAL. PALs are, in general, safety measures designed to prevent the unauthorized use of nuclear weapons, the details of which are classified. The U.S. government, on the other hand, has created broad and publicly accessible categories for the devices. It's unclear why the B-61-1 lacked the PAL safety mechanism, although it could have been because some 700 bombs were placed in stockpiles for NATO partners to deploy in a crisis.
American and Allied commanders may have concluded that obtaining the codes and then passing them on to third-party crews would be too time-intensive to provide a credible deterrence capability. All succeeding versions, with the exception of the B-6110, were enhancements of existing bombs. The B-6110 is a bit of an outlier. During the Cold War era, when the US military was producing the Pershing II tactical short-range ballistic missile, it concluded that a weapon with a lower yield than the previous Pershing I would be more helpful on a European battlefield against the Soviet Union and its allies, The B-6111 started operating in 1997 and was the first to alter significantly in both form and function. Despite being based on the B-6117 and supposedly having a single maximum yield of roughly 340 to 400 kilotons, the US military considers this version to be a tactical and strategic bomb. The B-6112 is the most recent member of the B-61 family of air-launched nuclear gravity bombs. The new model is designed to increase the nuclear capabilities of the US Air Force and its allies. The bomb can be launched into the air by aircraft such as the B-2A, F-15E, F-16CD, F-16MLU, PA-200, F-35, and B-21. Since at least 2011, the B-6112 has been in development. It will be the first in the family to include precision guiding. They will have a GPS and inertial navigation system, INS, guided tail kit as well as strakes along the weapon's main body that are comparable in design and performance to those seen on conventional joint direct attack munitions, JDAM, bombs.